what is up guys it's talia welcome back to my channel um i wanted to come in and do a real quick unbagging for you guys um this is a diamond painting that i ordered off of wish and the details on this one was i ordered this with another item a pair of earrings on july the 2nd and um the earrings arrived and this arrived in the same bag. Um, so when I got the, when I got the, the order, when I got the package, I wasn't entirely sure what it was because I was going off of the shipping label and everything and the tracking number and nothing was matching up. So I said, let me just crack it open and see what's, you know, see if I can see what's inside and, you know, to kind of maybe spark something as to what it is and when I opened it there were actually two separate packages so it was this and then the smaller package with my earrings in it and I immediately knew where it came from so um the tracking on this one yeah <laughs> it, it got a little bit off because it wasn't um tracking it as two separate packages anymore it was tracking it as one package um but I ordered this on July the 2nd and it officially left their shipping facility on July the 4th and I received this in the mail on July 17th as you can see from that date right there. So what is that 12 days? Um. 13 days, 13 days, so less than, less than two weeks to get to me, um, once it officially shipped out, which is pretty impressive these days, considering what's going on. So, I thought I would come in real quick and do this for you, I just did another, uh, unboxing, and I have a few more minutes before I have to get to ready for work, so I thought I would do this real quickly. So, I apologize in advance if I seem to rush through this. I, I'm going to try my best not to rush through it. But uh, we're going to open this and see what everything looks like. So, got my handy dandy scissors. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, yes, I got this from Wish. This was $7.85 for this diamond painting. There was $5 in shipping, like five, five, $5 in shipping. Um, like I said, I ordered this with another item and the, the total for everything was, I think, $10.70 prior to everything else being added and then I had their I had a 10% coupon so I got a dollar off of the entire transaction but basically the price that I paid for this diamond painting was seven dollars and eighty five cents plus five dollars in shipping so that's the only negative thing about wish is that the shipping is a little up there so people ask you know is it cheaper to order off a of wish than AliExpress, mm, not really, because while your diamond painting may seem cheaper, you're going to make up for that with shipping, because they're going to charge shipping fee on every single item. And they're not like AliExpress, where if you order multiple items, even though there may be a cost for shipping per item, if you have a transaction with more than one item from the same store, they're not going to knock any shipping costs off. Sorry. Um, AliExpress will. So if you order, say, multiple diamond paintings from the same seller and each diamond painting has, say, a $2 shipping um, cost and you order a few of few diamond paintings from the same company, then they will knock some of the shipping cost off. But not with Wish. So this is what we got. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that thumbnail, but that's what it is. I always kind of liked this picture like a lot. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Um, and I've always kind of wondered 
if it would look good in a smaller size or not. So I figured this is a good way to try. Um, here's your toolkit. <laughs> this is the most basic of basic toolkits I have ever seen. I mean, not really. I've seen this this type of toolkit before. Literally, you have a green boat, single placer pen, and a square of pink wax. And that's it. That is the most basic of basic toolkits. That's the most basic you're going to ever get. So, this is the diamond painting. This is a round drill. Um, this is the pour glue. Which, usually, you don't have a lot of issues in pour glue. Um, not saying it can't happen, but you, you, you have less issues in pour glue than you do in the double-sided adhesive. So, let me get this straightened out just a little bit. I don't think I've come across any diamond paintings where the adhesive wasn't sticky. So, but people seem to test it all the time. <sighs> That'll be good for now. This is not an immediate, immediate start, so that, that'd be good for now. Um, so this is the canvas, um, just looking at the drill field here. I am in not the best light. Everything seems pretty good. Um, I'm not really seeing any, um, colors that would get confused. Um, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then C and G, but they are two different colors. C is a light blue. G is a dark blue. That's what this says. Now, over here, it's a different story. Over here on the canvas, G seems to be a light blue, like a light periwinkle blue. C is almost a white symbol, which it's still, that's still good that it's separated like that. Um, G E L T P V A H K. So I don't see anything that would get confused. Um, the C and the G would have been the only issue, I think. Um, but they are two different colors, so. Um, everything seems to be okay. They have the, um, I kind of think of them as like ghost circles, where it's not a set circle with a, with a, a symbol inside. It's like where you have a colored, a colored circle with the symbol inside, but then the outer box of that particular symbol is a little darker or it's a different color but you have a slightly variegated slightly variated var variation of the color in in a round like in a circle shape you guys know what I mean um it's not like the the, the straight circle with the symbol inside it's like the colored circle um on a slightly different colored background so all in all, I think this looks pretty good. Um, this has 19 colors, and as you can see from the big freaking writing up here, it's a 30 by 40, um, 19 colors. It does have the symbol list on both sides, so that's good. Um, they did put this on the bottom. I've never seen a company put that on the bottom before. 
don't know if you can see that. Um, it does um, warn you that the plastic covering has a front and a back. Um, so one side, uh, one side of the plastic covering is the correct side. The other one will stick to your canvas and not come up. <laughs> so I've never seen a company do that before, but I think that's, that's a good practice to do. Um, so let's look at the drills. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Let's look at the drills real quick. Um, I can already tell they're in the baggies, which is good. There's some pretty colors in here. I don't know if you can see that. There's some pretty colors in there. Um, and you can pretty much see all the colors, so. Um, these have These have a DMC number on them. But I don't know how accurate the DMC number is. Because this is supposed to be 154. I know 154 and that is not it. That is a color uh, 154 adjacent, but that is not 154. Um, and I wish I could show you what 154 actually looks like because that is not it. Um, do I have 154 available? Let me, hold on, let me go and grab another pack of 154 real quick. Okay, um, I went and pulled out a 154 from another diamond painting that I have and it's from Hula Can. This is why I say I know 154 and this sir is not 154. So these DMC colors are not going to be correct Can, compared to the number that they're trying to say that they are. It's not, it's not correct. So I will do the painting as it is, but I don't know if I'm going to be keeping these drills afterward. Um, or I may save them and wait until I get some type of um, the what do you call it that that book that has the diamonds in it that's supposed to be the DMC numbers you know what color they're supposed to be I may keep these afterward and try to match them up to whatever color they're supposed to be because this is not it so I just thought I was I just thought I would let you guys know that um it's a pretty color for the painting, but it is not the color, the DMC color that they say it is. This is 310. Yes, that looks black. So one, let's do this real quick. One, two, like that says it's supposed to be color 169. That looks actually more like a, it could be a 314, but I don't know. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, really pretty green, nine, ten, eleven, which is supposed to be eight twenty nine, twelve, which is eight twenty four, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So all of the colors are accounted for. Um, like I said, may not match up to the DMC number that they say that they are. So I would definitely keep that in mind if you're someone who saves their, their drills. Um, 
I kind of just started saving my drills, so I don't have a lot right now. Um, but these are going to have to go through a quality control check, aka a color match check, before I officially save them as the number that they say that they are. Um, if it's close, if it's like a shade off or a, a hair shade off, I may just go ahead and save it as that number. That, that bothers me. That really bothers me. That is so far off from 154. It's not even funny. Um, it's actually, if I didn't know any better, if this is actually color 3721, I would actually say that that would be closer to like the 3719 or 3720. Like the darker shade of that one. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out because that that bothers me. Um, but other other than that, it seems to be good. The canvas looks good. Stickiness is good. Right, very quickly. I've never had an issue with Wish um, getting things to me in a timely manner. Um, they seem to be very quick with the shipping. Um, and for some reason, postal service times don't seem to affect it. Oh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends, but I don't usually have a problem getting things from Wish um, within, you know, a pretty decent time frame. So, that's all there. Um, I have a bag that I want to put these in because I'm not starting this diamond painting anytime soon. Let's see, canvas number on this one is, I'm gonna put wish. I'm gonna put C111519. which I assume is the canvas number, because it's all over this canvas. Um, it is a 30 by 40. And it has 19 colors. Um, I'm gonna put a note in here. It says round. I'm gonna put a note in here. Check. Drill. Um. BMC. Accuracy. That lets me know. Um that there may be some issues with the actual color. So, um, so that I, because it may be a while before I actually start this diamond painting. I'm not gonna lie. But I've had my eye on this picture for a while um, on many different sites, many different sellers. And saw it on Wish. I was placing an order. And I thought, hey, why not? So, I'm not saving that toolkit like I would with my better quality ones. But, there's your Wish order. Um, that's trash. Um, there's your Wish order. Uh, all in all, the canvas, canvas is fine. Um, it is a, one of those cheaper, like, plastic canvases. I don't care about the canvas quality. I don't, I don't care if it's plastic, if it's tarpaulin or whatever, um, other materials you can make canvas out of. Um, as long as the drill field looks good, it's sticky. And the drills are good. These drills seem to be okay. Um, just looking at them right off the bat. Um, I'm looking at these green ones. They seem to be pretty good. They don't seem to have a lot of misshapen drills. Which is good. The backs all seem to be very flat. Without like any holes and stuff. Um, so the drills all look pretty good actually. Um, 
but that's just on, you know, a, a visual inspection. Let me, since these are in the resealable baggies, I'm going to get, get a couple of these 310s out and see how they look. Mm, there's one that's not quite, not quite all completely perfectly round and it has like the little, has like a lip around the edge of it. Um, this one has like a little nub on the side of it. It's not that these drills can't be used. These drills will probably still be used, but they're very shiny. Um... But other than that, they look okay. I'm not going to say perfect. I would say maybe a six. I'll give, them, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll give them a seven out of ten. For, just for the drills. Um, but that's just that's my opinion. Um, so that's going to be it for this particular video. And... Um, Hope you enjoyed my unboxing and um i guess i will see you guys in the next one have a great week guys thanks bye i did forget to do one thing <laughs> i'm sorry i'm coming back to you guys um i will go ahead and do this i know some people like like to see this um the measurements on this one if i'm measuring it right at the edge it is a 30 33 and maybe a few centimeters in width and then here right at about 24 just maybe a hair shy of 24 centimeters so Basically a 24 by about 33 and a half. So your 30 by 40 is going to be probably your canvas size. 39 that way. Yeah, because I'm right at where the green outer edge is. So that's about 39 that way. And about 29 and a half centimeters that way. So, even our canvas size isn't anywhere close. But, you know, for a painting, this is what you get for $7.85 plus $5 in shipping. So, um, that's really going to do it. I'm done now. Um, I will actually leave you this time. And uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>